Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Prem Kumar Sen. We are running through the equipment check. So we have bought almost everything that we need. And day after tomorrow we are leaving for Lukla, so might as well give it all a good check. So we know we've got everything we need and we are assured about it. This would be uh, my lovely friend and Sherpa, uh, Ranjay, who is also doing a cross check for the GoPro right now. So we're running a test run for that as well. So uh, let's get you through the equipment. First of all, we've got warmers, toe warmers, hot hands, and the hand warmers. So these things are basically something which, when exposed to air, start reacting and produce heat. I've got 30 pairs of both, so should be enough. Next, we've got the most important piece of equipment here, the mountain hardware Phantom 15. This thing will be <laughs> my lifeline on the mountain. This, this would, uh, they say it goes well to minus 40, and we'll find out if it does, and I hope it does, because if it doesn't, Midas will be in trouble. Mountain hardware, Phantom 15. This is, this is for the higher camps. For the lower camps, we've got another one by Ferrino, a Nitec 600 extended. This too is 600 down, this is 600 down as well, but this has a comfort zone of <coughs> minus 10. So this should be my base camp and say to camp one, camp two, the lower camp, sleeping bag. Apart from that, we've got this. Yeah. This is the, what is this? Down jacket. Yeah, yeah, this is the down overall. So I'll post a picture of this later, which I've already clicked. This is something which is an overall jacket, which is a full jacket and has 800 fill down. This is by Mountain Hardware again. Have proved good for almost everybody who've used it. So I don't want to be a different. I don't want to be different for this. So this would be awesome, I believe. This is this is very warm. I checked it for five minutes. I checked it for five minutes down there, and I was already sweating. So should be okay. Now next we have mat. Uh, thermal rest mat. So this is something which goes in your tent between you and your sleeping bag. So this is basically for insulation and keeping you warm, keeping your sleeping bag warm. This is the standard, but this, this has proved really good for everybody. And it has done its time, it's amazing. It's lightweight, it's very light and very compact. So it should be okay. Next we've got SX, uh, the very standard Petzl Snow Walker 68, it's a Charlotte, Charlotte or Charlotte, whatever you call it and I've implemented the cover on it so that it doesn't puncture my bags. This is light, very light, and it's got a good coating on it. Good standard size for me. Next, we have something which I'm really fond of. These are mountain hardware down gloves. So this is something which you use on top of your regular gloves. And these are made of down, so they're very warm. They keep you warm on the day you go for summit or on a regular lazy day at the, at the higher camps. Next, we have a very standard, but the best Petzl ascending device, the Petzl Ascension. This is a Jumar, as we call it, or ascender. This is used when you have roped up or you have a fixed rope and you have to climb up. So you, it goes up and it locks while coming down. It only goes one way up. It does not come down. So when you have to come down, it releases the knock. Which you shouldn't in case you are hanging by something. After this, we have yeah, we have a black diamond, very standard harness. It's not a, uh, something which you get in, but something which you strap. Because when you're all clothed up, you have your down jacket on, you've got everything you'd want something which you can strap because going in is trouble and in cold times it actually is huge trouble. And these are the latest, they came out this year, the Gribble Extra Light Crampons and trust me they are very very light, they are less than, uh, the previous ones were more than two times heavier 
this haven't been checked yet so the one who was selling it to me was kind of apprehensive about it working well but I hope they do because they they've got really good build quality <laughs> next we've got a very standard but very useful camelback water bottle for times when you need cold water it's got a thing easy carry it's amazing spill proof or so they say but it should work well this is a tiger thermos not a very known brand but uh, sorry <laughs> It keeps, they say it keeps water warm for 12 hours. Uh, even if it gives me 6 hours, I'll be happy. <laughs> yeah, these are uh, Moon Tesla, Tesla socks. They are uh, said to be blister free. They're made of wool and lycra, wool blend with lycra. They should be okay. I wouldn't say much about them, I will use them. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the most important piece of equipment on the mountain. This is the new Millet Everest GTX. <coughs> they have been around for the past, I think, 10 years, Millet, the same model. And they've keep, kept upgrading it all the time. This is the best shoe. There are a few competitors like La Sportiva, eh? Olympus Mons, La Sportiva, Phantom, but nothing gets better than Millet. Though these are around two, three hundred grams heavier than the last Sportiva one but these are the real deal, these are the best later we have a very 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 standard black diamond descending device, a figure of eight it's when you're rappelling down or you just, you know, you have to come down any place so you have to lock your partner, you have to belay your partner this, <coughs> is, very, this is small and lightweight and beautiful in color these are the Lionel Polar Tech gloves, Black Diamond, again, sorry, Mountain Hardware again. Don't ask me why, did, why am, am I getting everything with Mountain Hardware, it's because it's the nearest shop and they've got really good quality equipment. Plus they made me a good deal, 10% discount, not bad. So this is something which goes in and on top, this will go, because this is waterproof, windproof, and it's got nice griddle here, so when you're rappelling and you've got a rope passed through, it does not come off easy. This is a mountain hardware. I don't know what you call it, but you can find it easily everywhere you go. Now again, a very standard but very useful Petzl Tika XP2. It says it gives you 190 hours of battery life. It should be okay. I've got enough spare batteries, energizer, we've got a lot of these. So even if I run out of batteries, I hope I can change and I've got time to change. Next, okay, this I didn't want to show you, but because my friend had to give it to me, this is uh, Banana Boat SPF 110. Um, I'm not a very cosmetic guy, but they say it works well. Not talking about it anymore. Yeah, uh, this is this is what I bought today. This is Mountain Hardware windproof jacket, which is windproof. They say it's waterproof as well, eh? Mm -hmm. This is waterproof, and, and if you look at the inside it's got a fleece lining so it kind of helps me replace two uh, equipments with one I don't have to carry a fleece anymore and I don't have to carry windproof so it's two in one work well most probably I'll be replacing my normal down jacket with this as well not the down overall jacket but the normal down jacket this should work well yeah these are tape slings black diamond very standard called the runner this is when you tie your jumar to your harness or you use this and I'll do it double sided I'll do it double because single it's too it's though it carries a lot of load but single does not make psychological satisfaction to me <laughs> so I'll go double this in case my crampons have a glitch this is the spine of the crampon which runs through it uh, should be okay I mean I should not be needing this most probably no, I shouldn't. I, I, I don't want to use this, trust me. I don't want to be in a condition when I have to use this. And yeah, we've got 
SanDisk memory cards, we got enough, we got around 200 GB of memory, which should be enough to be used with this camera, the one I'm recording from, this, uh, the GoPro, which you already saw, and the three <coughs> Canon, the camera one. Yeah, and this camera as well. So it's a standard, works on all, all of the cameras, and it's class 10, so it's got really fast video speed. But this is our basic standard equipment, the 500D Canon. It has worked well for the past five years for me, and hopefully it will work well this year too. Apart from that, we've got a really fancy looking device. It's actually, It looks fancy, but it's very useful. It's a black diamond walking pole with big ice plates on it. So when you're walking on snow, not really ice, but snow, it gives you more surface area. So it works well, especially when coming down, it's tremendously interesting. <coughs> Then we've got these. Well, I myself never knew this was something called sun protection in t-shirts as well. But this is UPF50, a mountain hardware full sleeve t-shirt. It should be okay. It's good. It's quick dry, double wick, and it got a half t-shirt in a very fancy color in the same yellow color. I like yellow. Bright colors I was wearing in the mountains, you know you. You go dull, there's a very monotonous life, the patience level goes up, you have to wait for long, so things like these keep you happy. Yeah, this is my set of quick draws and carabiners. I've got normal standard, I've got locking, and I've got a self-locking one. Yeah, it's right there, self-locking. So, should be okay. This should be enough, this is more than enough actually, but... <coughs> I'll just carry a few extra, doesn't make a lot of difference. This is my cement gloves. <laughs> Haven't used them before, but it's got double layering, so it should be okay in alpine conditions. This is my basic Quechua fleece jacket. It worked well for me in the past. This time too, I'm hoping it'll work well. Okay, this is the most fanciest piece of equipment I have. This is the Julbo, uh, uh, it's not Julbo, it's Smith Optics Phenom, I believe. Yeah, Phenom Turbo. It's got a fan in it, so. Apart from having a double layered glass which does not defog anyway, it's bloody has a fan in it. I don't know why you need a fan, but they said if it fogs, somehow it helps in defogging. So again, good piece. And this is my normal Glacier Traverse Wetsy. I got it from Decathlon. Don't want to publicize them. I don't want to give them any free publicity because they're not that good. But still, these have worked the best for me. So yeah. I've used them in skiing, I've used them in Glacier Traverse, I've used them everywhere. Cause Good stuff. This is the extra piece of uh, lenses for the Smith Optics we just saw. Yeah, and this I might not use, but because they're too heavy, but I would still want to carry them. This is a Hotronics feet warmer. So this, what it actually does, it puts a sole in your boots, in the big boots, and they've got a battery attached to it, so you can always monitor the it, uh, the average temperature of your shoes. So I hope I'll check it on the mountain if I got to use it or not. Most probably I won't because these are good boots and I've got good socks. So they shouldn't be needed but in, in case it is, I'll keep them anyways. The rest everything is very standard, normal standard, please gloves, socks. Yeah, I've got my uh, face mask. And I'll yeah, and I'll just put it on because I'm so much in love with this cap. This is my Tibetan cap. This is my outdoor research face mask. It, it has worked well before. Hoping it'll work well on Everest as well. I'm gonna give you a good review on this. Plus, I've got a nice box that somebody special gave it to me. It's kind of fancy, but sometimes you know you gotta be like that. A skull face box. So, yeah, I know. And I've got a basic Marmot water repellent trousers with a thermal lining. So these, really, this is one piece of equipment I really <coughs> And to set it all in one, we've got a big mountain hardware duffel bag. I hope you can see it. There. It's 160 liters. Should be amazing. Should sack everything. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
Oh yeah, looks <laughs> Yeah. These are very standard. I got them from Delhi. Alpine 70 liters. Good padding, good body balance. Nicely distributed weight on each part. Good piece of equipment. And when we finish, before we finish, this was the piece of equipment. We just lacked one or two things which we'll get from the market anyways in a few hours. Yeah, I'll be using the Casio watch with an altimeter and a barometer. They're very light, very good. And, and yeah, I mean, and, 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 a woodland, and a woodland jacket for the base camp and while I'm trekking should be fine. I can't show you, but I'm also using a Quechua 4 class 500 boots for my hiking. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Think, uh, before we end the video, thank you very much Seven Summits for letting me use the place to scatter my stuff all around and show you one by one. They also gave me a Seven Summit t-shirts to, to, to wear. They gave me a few to carry as well. Yeah, they also, got, they also gave me a cap, they were kind enough. Well, I'm not to take this off. See, Seven Summits. <laughs> Most probably I'll be on the Seven Summits someday. <laughs> and, not, and these guys are really good, I've got a Sherpa. It's called Renjin. He has done Mount Everest eight times, K2 twice, and numerous other peaks which are not worth mentioning because we've already spoken about the top two. And right now he's testing the GoPro. <laughs> uh, don't go by the funny looks. He's a very humble guy. He's amazing. And most probably he and me together would do Everest and Lotse this time, eh? Yeah, he's a strong guy. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Prem Kumar Singh signing off. Take care. Be safe.